Ear infections are one of the most common childhood illnesses, with most children experiencing at least one episode by age three. In some children, ear infections lead to ear pain, irritability, fever, and difficulty sleeping. In other children, fluid may build up in the ear, making it difficult for them to hear or respond to quiet sounds. Prolonged difficulty in hearing may affect language and speech development. In many cases, a doctor will prescribe medicine to help clear the infection. You may be prescribed several rounds of medications if the infections continue to return. If medicine does not help or your child's hearing is impacted, your doctor may recommend surgery. The middle ear is the space behind the eardrum. Normally, this space is full of air, allowing the ear to work properly. However, in some children, fluid can build up, leading to hearing difficulty, painful pressure, or infections. If surgery is recommended, an ear, nose, and throat surgeon will place an ear tube across the eardrum. The tube creates a tiny pathway that allows air to enter the middle ear, which is effective in encouraging the elimination of fluid and preventing repeat infections. After several months, the eardrum heals and the tube falls out into the ear canal. Traditionally, ear tubes have been inserted in an operating room at a hospital or surgery center. Procedures are typically performed in the morning, as your child must fast for at least six hours before the surgery. Your child is put under general anesthesia and is unconscious while the surgeon inserts the ear tube. You will wait in the waiting room during the procedure. You will be reunited with your child after the tubes are placed and your child awakes from the anesthesia. Typically, you would take the rest of the day off to help your child recover. Now there is a new technology under evaluation as an option for your child's tube procedure. Using investigational technology known as TULA, an ear, nose, and throat surgeon can place ear tubes in their office, avoiding the need for general anesthesia, fasting, and a hospital visit. You remain with your child throughout, and typically they can resume normal activity right after the procedure. Instead of general anesthesia, the TULA system uses a technology called iontophoresis to numb your child's ear. A numbing drug is placed in your child's ear canal, and a special earplug keeps the drug in place. The iontophoresis system applies a small amount of energy to push the drug into the eardrum, causing it to go numb. This process takes about 10 minutes, and both ears can be numbed at the same time. Typically, your child will be watching a favorite show or playing with a special toy during this time. Once your child's ears are numb, the ear, nose, and throat doctor is ready to place the tube. If preferred, your child can sit on your lap. The nurse will gently hold your child's head and the doctor will use a special Tula device that inserts the tube in less than half a second. If your child needs tubes in both ears, the doctor will then place the second tube. The ENT doctor may use a tiny suction device to remove fluid from the middle ear, or may let the fluid drain naturally after the procedure. It is anticipated that your child can return to normal activities right after the tubes are inserted. The TULA technology is under investigation in a clinical study and is not appropriate for all children. To understand if the TULA office-based procedure is an option for your family, contact an ENT surgeon participating in the clinical study.